G'day guys, welcome to part three of the Bushcraft Treehouse build. If you haven't seen part one and two, you can check them out on the channel. But for now, in this video, I'm gonna keep going with the framework that I started in part two. So I've still got an upright to go behind me, roof rails to put on. Depending on how I go for time, I'm trying to keep these videos short for you, so around the half an hour mark maximum. If I've got the time, I'll look at getting onto the, the walls. They're gonna be canvas, so waterproof canvas on the walls and split bamboo on the roof. If you've seen the bushcraft shelter that I built, the permanent shelter, I did the same with that with the walls. So overlapping the, the bamboo, but I'm gonna do it on the roof with this one. I've got the time, I'll get onto that as well, but as I said, I'm trying to keep the video relatively short for you. So no more talking then. Uh, as I always say, I do appreciate you clicking on the video and checking it out. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Let's get into it. Right in the eye. Bit shaky for the old camera up there. Until I get all this lashed off, it's gonna be uh, a bit wobbly. But hopefully, soon, everything will be nice and stable. Once I get that boxed in around this tree, so I'm just going to put rails in all around this tree, both, both uh, trunks. And that will lock everything in. It won't be able to move that way because of the rail at the back of it. it. Won't be able to move that way because of the rail there. Same for the sides. So that, it's the same thing as what I did with the floor and locked it all in. So I've got to tie this rail on, another one at that end, and then do the short rails in between. And hopefully then it'll be good to go. Time will tell, but I'm confident.
Try that again. Making a right raw mess of this. Just uh, <laughs> finishing it off with an overhand knot. Then everything went cockeyed on me. So just undo that knot. Just an overhand knot to finish it off, just to stop it slipping back through the, the um, knot I've got underneath it. So I'll just push that down as close as I can, tighten it up. I can even put another overhand knot underneath that one. It's not really necessary, but why not? And then I'll just cut the tag off a bit closer. And if the wind lets me, just melt the end of it. Okay, so what I've just done, put the rails in around the tree, uh, one on either end of it, which stops the, the whole structure moving lengthwise. Then I've put these two, you know, opposing that first two rails which stops the shelter from moving that way. So now it's, I mean, I've got the camera attached to this pole here, this rail. So any movement's gonna come through the camera. There's not much. What I'll also do is on the ends, I'll just put a lashing around either end or on one end, bring it around and just tighten it off. So at the moment they're independent of each other so they could slide up these rails. But by doing that, it guarantees that it can't move. So I'll just do that at either end. Just, um, yeah, bind them on. That's the, the roof frame all done. So what I'm going to do now, have to move the ladder. So I've just had it temporarily fixed to the side of the shelter. I'm going to move it over and fix it off in its um, final position, which will be coming up through the, the hatch in the floor there. So I've got to get onto that now. I want to do a pretty decent job of it because I don't want to have to be tinkering around with it, adjusting things. I want to get it, get it right the first time, put the effort in the first time and then it's good to go from there on. So that's what I'm going to do. Move the ladder and reattach it, build it all in there. Then it's just the rails around the outside of the walls that I've got to put in. Uh, and I'll talk more about them when I get to that. And after that, it's happy days on to uh, canvas and roof so this is the foundation pretty much done all right enough talking <laughs> gonna uh, have a bit of a break and i'll get onto that later Could have taken this out and um, cut them on the ground, which would be a lot easier. However, if I do that, then I have to keep bringing them back, putting them back in, checking the rails, and it's a lot easier if I can just do it this way. Once I get this this bottom one on, which is the hardest, I imagine, possibly the top one will have a problem cutting down, but I think it'll be right. But once I get this bottom one in, then it should be happy days. Um, because I can, next one will be up here, so I can easily get into that. Just this, these two bottom, bottom sides. A bit awkward.
So I just made a check out. Just when I lash this rail on, I'll do another check out on that side. When I lash it on, because it's sitting in that, that little groove, it's not going to be able to slide down the, the rail, or the pole, or the ladder. I haven't come up with a name for it yet, so um, so that'll that'll get lashed in there, and the same on that side. Once it's pulled tight, it's not going to be able to move down. So um, yeah, that's the reason for that. All right, next side. Ugh. Feeling old today. Solid, solid is, bro. All right guys, well, that's the ladder completed. It's actually taken me a week to uh, tie on four rungs on this ladder. Um, had, yeah, back injury and, but anyway, that's, um, that's another story. Show must go on as they say, so got out of this morning, finally finished it. Uh, give you a quick look at this. This top rail, or top rung on the ladder, has actually made it thicker than the rest of them. The reason being at the top here, I've got the ladder lashed off back from the edge of, um, of the floor. So you would have had to have stepped underneath to find that rung if it was a normal size or the same size as the others. So I've made that thicker so you can step straight down onto it. But um, anyway, rambling, let's get on with the build.
Right. So just temporarily, 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 <laughs> lash that off there. I'll do the other end, come back here and reposition it. Alright guys, so I've just lashed this end rail on. The height of that was a bit more critical than the, the long rail that I put in on the side because the bed's going to be lashed off to this. So I'm going to have a canvas bed coming through here and what I'm thinking of doing is just lashing on a loop. So there'll be a loop there and a loop over here somewhere and I'll do the same to each corner of the bed, the canvas bed, and then I'll just have a clip on it so I can clip it onto there and then I can easily remove the canvas and the bed out of the way or take off one side and just let it hang down so I've got more floor space. So I've got that rail in there, I've got it lashed off there but the weight on the bed, I'm not saying I'm a, I'm a big fella or anything but just the weight on the bed could um, possibly push that rail down the, the pole. So what I've come up with is someone prepared earlier. It's got these little uprights, so they're just going to go in like so, and then there'll be another one over here, like so. They'll get lashed off. So then, when I'm sitting on the bed, the um, the weight will be transferred down these rails, stop that pole from slipping. I'm not going to film the other end because. You know, you've seen it here, you don't need to be seeing it again. So I'll just show you the stuff that I feel is important and leave out all the stuff that I think is just going to bore you to tears. So I'll get this lashed off and, um, yeah. Slippy. That's why I wrap it around itself a few times, just because of the round. Rail tends to make it want to slip. So if I go back over itself a few times, it helps helps lock it in. Not really sure how I'm going to lash all this off, but just undo it if it if it doesn't work out. Try again. This doesn't have to be too fancy. Just got to hold it in position. Um, it's not doing anything other than stopping that rail sliding down. So as long as it keeps it upright, it's going to do its job. So it doesn't have to be a fancy, fancy lash job here. I'm saying that I don't want it to be. I don't want it to be rubbish. Hmm. Okay. It's a good thing about doing a, or any sort of project. You're learning without actually trying to learn. So you're learning trial by error. And 
you learn what works, what doesn't work. So when you do future projects, you're not making the same mistake. Hopefully. Although I, I often do. Alright guys, so that's this end done. I may have actually made a bit of a problem for myself. So I've lashed this one in here, but I've got the hatch to go in here. And I haven't yet figured out how I'm going to hinge it. It's going to hinge off this side, but I haven't figured out what hinges I'm going to use for it. But what I do know is it's going to open up this way. So if you imagine this is the thickness of this, this hatch, as it goes to open, it's going to hit this before it can fully open. So I'll possibly end up with a hatch that's open to about here. So if you imagine it coming up through here, when I try to get in, I'm not going to be able to get into the treehouse. So what I may have to do later on is lash another rail on the inside of here, right across, and then the hatch, imagining this is a hatch, the hatch will then hinge off of this new rail which will then give me the clearance to get it fully open and be able to get in and out of the, the tree house but time will tell how it how it pans out but I thought I'd just share that with you now I'm aware of that being a problem and yeah we'll deal with it when we get to it Okay, these two pieces I've just lashed in, these two vertical pieces, they're going to be the window frame, the two sides of the window frame, and this will be the base of it. And I'll have another rail, it will be cut down, and then I'll go up somewhere up in there. So I'll have a rectangular opening in the wall. And the window, what I'm thinking is to try something different, make a frame, and then split bamboo into thin slivers and weave them to make a, like a woven screen and that'll attach to the in that framework that'll all hinge off the top of the window and be fixed in place so then i can use a, a prop stick to push the window out and it'll hinge off the top and it'll open up and so it'll be out like that and yeah just to try something different still got a little bit of work to do i've uh, got a rail to put in along the front here and i've still got the two uh, bed support pieces to put in at that end but then that's it the frames done and it's on to doing the canvas and um, measuring out for that so it's um, it's all starting to starting to look good um, be glad to get onto something different rather than just lashing every day so looking forward to doing the canvas even though I know, <laughs> know from previous um, experience that it's kind of a messy process with just the way I'm waterproofing it and that before I put it on so I'm putting it on wet 
but I might try a few different things. I might try some of the walls, put them on wet, and others I'll put them on dry and, and paint the waterproofing on afterwards just to see how that works. But um, all right, I'm gonna keep going, <laughs> as I keep saying. So as you can see, started the walls. It's just a matter of, I'm using a pebble, which I'm then tucking into the, um, so I've got a pocket full of pebbles, and I just tuck that into the canvas. So I tuck it into the canvas, and then use that as a point to lash off of. So just use a constriction knot to lash onto that. Do that all across the top there. Mosquitoes are starting to come out. And I've just got it hanging loose. I'll lash it off because the wind's starting to pick up. I'll lash it off just roughly at the bottom, maybe with three three points. And what I have to do is I have to do all the walls first and then waterproof them and only lash them in at the top. Then I've got to roll the walls up. All the walls are going to be rolled up out of the way and tied up out of the way. So then I can do the roof because the roof's going to be the split bamboo and I'm going to need access to the sides, to the outside to actually get it done. But I needed to put the canvas on first because it's gonna be underneath the bamboo. So if I put the bamboo on first, I can't actually get in there to, to lash this off. So i gonna do a um, step forward and then step back to actually do the roof. So anyway, that'll all be in part four. What are we up to here for? Part four. <laughs> Thanks for sitting through the video. I think we're around the half hour mark. Um, as I said, I want to keep them around that, that sort of spot at the, the longest. Don't want to make it too long and boring for you. Just keep it moving, flowing. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, that way you won't miss out on uh, part four when it comes out and all the other videos that I'm, I'm bringing out constantly. Uh, if you haven't checked on the channel, check the playlists. Uh, I've got a lot of videos on there that I've done already. So yeah. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the build so far. Any suggestions, that'd be great. Yeah, thanks for watching, and yeah, I do appreciate it. I'll see you next time. See ya.